Emilio, learning about autism wasn't a choice. 66 kids a day, one every 20 minutes. It's just huge. It just, it's scary to me, Mike. His 10-year-old son, Christopher, was diagnosed with autism when he was a baby. Um, he has um, some speech, but not a lot of speech. Because there's no cure for autism, Demilio is looking for ways to help his son in the future by taking part in a focus group for parents of autistic teens. But when you have a group of parents get together like today, they all start sharing stories of what works for them, what doesn't work for them, and if he, besides a focus group, it also becomes a giant therapy session. On Saturday, researchers from the University of North Carolina presented their latest findings in Charlotte. Oh, we just wanted to tell, tell the group um, who was interested about some research, um, medication research and uh, behavioral intervention research we have going on at UNC. But not everyone at Saturday's meeting was a parent or researcher. Through friends in my neighborhood, I uh, met their family and their child before their middle son was diagnosed. Sure. The family uh, was Robert yeah, Demilio's. typical child. Who's it really helps you put in perspective um, the challenges that you have in everyday life in comparison. In fact, Pressler was so inspired by the Demilio's, she's now a regional director for Autism Speaks, a national organization focused on helping those with autism. Uh, I always say life happens for a reason. And for these families, finding a reason behind autism is the main goal. In Charlotte, Bryn Huff, News 14.